Hello, Christina of Red Soul. Thanks for tuning into the video. So I came across this story yesterday about Eric Swalwell wanting Russian students, university students, to, uh, he basically wants to deport them out of America. Now, interestingly, based on his resume, being engaged in fornicating or committing adultery with a Chinese spy himself. I mean, don't get me wrong, he is an attractive man. He has a nice growing beard going. But it's kind of funny that he's uh, ridiculing these innocent people that has no control what the leader of their country is doing. And yet he wants to deport the wrong people that are here honestly on visas most likely i've taught russian students before it, it's like um years ago when i studied in spain and that's why i'm sensitive about this topic except it was around the time september 11 happened and there were i would walk along the streets of madrid and barcelona and they would talk about, and I, I would see spray paints about G.W. Bush, who was the president at that time. I wouldn't have wanted them to say, okay, let's get this American out of here because of, simply because they disagree with the president of the unit of the country I was born into. So, uh, Mr. Swalwell, I think I'm saying his name correctly. He was on CNN talking about this. Uh, you know, we had to give an account because, you know, they, Russia is invading Ukraine. Okay, I get that. But you don't have to take it out on the students. We don't know how they got here. Of course, they got on visas, most likely. They may have earned scholarships to get into these universities. Then you're going to kick innocent people out based on what the leader of their country did. I know he wouldn't have wanted that to happen to him, especially if he has been in China, you know, committing sexual immorality with this Chinese spy. He wouldn't want to be judged like that. So uh, if, you, if you really want to look at, I'm not into CNN. He was on an interview with them. I believe it was February 14th based on the, the date that I found on Blaze uh, Media. If you want to take a look at that and and hear what he has to say but the article in the title says for itself i mean he's i don't agree with him on this he's a democrat california maybe he's bored because the state is getting messed up i, I don't know what will prompt him to say something like that about these these innocent students but uh I mean, I had more on my podcast about this. I mean, his actual direct quote of what should be done about them, you know, yeah, let's deport them, you know, because of the, you know, the, 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 the situation with, you know, Russia invading Ukraine, all type of dictators and the democracies want to invade other countries. I mean, it's men in general want power and they want to conquer and they want to rule and leader so uh no i i don't agree with this on that him on this now i did receive a in my previous video about the same-sex couple in denver colorado about what we're going to do about the ukraine and I responded to, I don't know if this person was a subscriber or not. And I responded, honestly, I don't know. All I, what's on my heart is to pray for them. I'm familiar with the Ukrainian culture, living in New York City. I have, I have uh, my master thesis was on a Ukrainian student. He was one of the best students I've ever had in New York. So my heart does break for him now. I haven't gotten in touch with him. We are friends on YouTube. Uh, but I haven't gotten in touch with him because, I mean, I don't know what to say. If he wants to reach out to me and, 
and share, you know, his thoughts and feelings. He's more than welcome to. I got a good ear to listen if he wants to call me. I've got a good ear to listen. But uh, prayer is the answer. Stay on our knees uh, until the Lord Jesus returns and straighten all this out. I know this is uh, quite a short video, but I just spoke what's on my heart. And I don't agree with Mr. Swalwell on this. And being a, a Democratic liberal, he should know better because they're there, it, it's kind of hypocritical, their philosophy on being tolerant, but yet in, in, you know, their immigration position on immigration and, you know, how we not, we shouldn't deport people, but yet he's talking like a, um, a, a, a double mouth, a two face, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for listening. It's good to hear, um, here <laughs> talk to you folks on hump wednesday I have a couple more videos ahead um i will be on news talk this coming friday so if i if i don't have a video by friday i'll definitely be on uh this coming weekend um with news ahead i really want to do a, a background with saint patrick's day coming up the the true background on St. Patrick's Day, and it's definitely not how people in the United States celebrate it. In fact, if St. Patrick were here, he would tell us to repent. <laughs> the kingdom of God is at, home, at hand. Christina read, so pray for our nation and our brothers and sisters in the persecuted church, and pray for the situation that's going on in Eastern Europe. Uh, we're all made in the image of God, and I'm sure God is not pleased with what's happening, this, and even though he's very patient. Talk to you super soon.